Hello guys, welcome to this session of Power BI series. In our last session, we talked about DAX Essential, where we covered areas such as the calculated columns, and we showed the difference between the majors and the calculated columns. And we also did some aggregate functions such as the count, average, and all that. So today, we want to talk about the calculated function. How can we use this to actually change the context of our data? This is what we are going to be covering mainly in this section of the video. So here, let us see how we can uh, let's let's navigate to our location and let's visualize um, let's visualize our our state by revenue. Our state. Let's use the revenue major here. The revenue major. So here, this is the revenue generated by each state as it is seen here. So let's see how we can actually. I uh, use the calculated function. Once I enter that, you'll be able to see the different kind of expression you are allowed to pass in. It will actually give you a hint. Let's call this calculated function. So if I pass in calculated function now, you see that it evaluates an expression in a context modified by filters. Just have to pass in an expression, then pass in so many filters as you can. So here we want to evaluate it. By revenue, by revenue major, by revenue major. So, and we are passing the location, which is from the state, from the state. Oh, well, I'm going to explain again if you don't understand. So let's choose a particular state. Let's choose this Texas. It looks okay. Let's choose that Texas. So, if I hit enter now. Let's visualize this now and see. So now you can see we use the particular state, which is Texas. Let's visualize it here again so that we can see it along. Then later on, I'm going to do something else to explain to you. Look at it. Let's use a card. Here's a card, which is this is actually the revenue the, 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 the generated by Texas, the revenue measure generated by Texas, which is about. Let's, let me just use something like money so that it will look. To look okay let's change this to to, to something dollar let's put it to two decimal point let's change to the two decimal point that will look okay so let's change this one to to dollar and let's Put it back at two decimal point. I think this looks like revenue, if I'm not wrong. Yes, yeah, so this is the revenue generated by Texas about at 1.7 uh, dollar, probably in thousands. So here you can see how we can use this to actually change the context of this. But if you want to actually get what you want, which is actually filter it by Texas, then you can actually pass in the filter function. Let me show you how I can do that. You can pass in the filter function, and I believe that will actually give us what we want more. If I come here, let me open another bracket here. So but let me just close this completely so that we can write it from scratch and you see what I'm talking about. So if you pass in this um this filter function here, you can see. What you need to pass in here is a table, then a filter expression. It just takes in a table, then a filter, filter expression. It responds a table that has been filtered. You understand? So say here the table that we are filtering is location. They want to filter, filter the location uh, state, which is equals to uh, Texas. I think we should actually get what we are actually looking for if we do this. I see it. So here it will turn only the one for Texas. Are you seeing it? Just set 1.7. And this is actually very nice. And one more that in about this filter, uh, this filter function here is you can even use it to create table. Let me show you guys, let me show you guys an example real quick. Um let's come to this particular, let's come to this uh product here. Come to the product here. Let's try to pull a price here, which is a particular a price of product for some particular range. And let's try to do that. And see, let's just create a new table. You can just create a new table and pull a price with a particular product range. Let me say filter uh, product uh, table. And let's just use the filter expression now. 
and you can see the table then the filter expression the table that we want to filter is filter is a product we want to filter product then we want to return a filter expression which is a product with a price range let's say price let's say price range which are above greater than five to be stored in this table so let's just create this table and see how it will look like I think we're passing too many columns. Same task error occurred during passing input in one. Okay, sorry. This is where we had an error. This is actually supposed to be outside. So now let's close it and see. So here we have the filter table. So if you look at this table here now, if you look at this product let me visualize this product let's use a table okay it's written table so if you check these prices here now you will see that they're actually prices that are greater than five are you seeing them this return price is greater than five this is actually very wonderful it's actually very great uh, let me show you guys something else i can even change it i can even change the expression if i change it to prices less than five now price less than five now you see that's everything has become revised. That's changed. I I seen how it looks like. It's actually very great. And because of the model that has been created here, you can even filter it from this side. I seen it. You can filter it from this side by state. If I come to Alabama now, Alabama now you can see the product that were actually sold with the price less than five. If I come here and change change this, if I change this to greater than five here now. And I come and try to fit it from this side, and you can see these are the products Arizona green tea, but actually sold uh, most in uh, Alabama with the price which actually which, which can be very very useful when filtering product. Let's look at other um, uh, calculated function. Another function again, calculated function I want to show you guys is the all function. I want to show you guys how it removes filters, any other kind of filter, filter that has been applied as well as instances where it can be used okay here let's come back to this particular uh, calculated function that we did here and here let's go ahead and remove this filter and let's apply uh, the all function from here and you can see it returns all the rows in the table or all the values in the columns ignoring any kind of uh, filter that have been applied and we can see this let's see this in a while I want to check the filter that have been applied on the location uh, state here. So if we do that now, you will see that it return all the, the total values, ignoring any kind of filter. And this can be helpful in some cases. And instances where you can use this all function is, for instance, you want to know the percentage of a particular uh, a revenue, a particular product. Let me show you guys in a quick, quick. Let's just divide this. Uh, Revenue major here by this. Let's divide it here. Let's just divide it on this. And let's see how this is going to look like. Let's see how this is going to look like. So here, wow, we, have, we just have everything zero. Let's just take it back to percentage. And let's see if we can see something meaningful here. Let's take it to percentage. And here you can see. We have a percentage value so in some cases where you need to find the percentage value of a particular um, output or a particular column then it's good for you to use the all function because it will remove any kind of filter on it and it will give you that exact value if you actually take this to three decimal point we will see it very clearly 0, 0.0 something this is actually very nice and can actually be visualized so I hope this I hope this video helps you and if it does go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We shall release another video again on DAX and which is why you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also turn on the notification button so that once another new video is dropped, you'll be the first to notify. Um that will be all. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.